some literary critic, I forget who now, made the point that Christianity, if you believe in it, makes true tragedy in the Greek sense impossible because the universe is supposed to be governed by a an all good being um, and everybody gets what they deserve and someone who destroys himself fighting against God through hubris cannot be a hero which is why I think so many of the great Western Christ, uh, great Western tragedies of the Christian age from Macbeth to Hamlet to Paradise Lost seem more existential than Christian um, and I think there's some kind of line of inquiry we could get into here about uh, um, all the escape uh, all the pressure valves that Christendom has had over the centuries for uh, aspects of the official theology that just don't make sense but I'm not going there right now I, I, I it occurred to me thinking about my favorite poems and and uh, and this poetry contest and of course atheism can't get away from atheism um, that uh, the other uh, corollary is that the right word of um, of that point about Christianity and tragedy is that Christianity is the is the perfect uh, background for horror and that I think true horror fiction and horror entertainment uh, came to full flower in the Christian world whereas other belief systems had scare stories and gross outs uh, but they just weren't quite schizophrenic enough to create the true frisson of horror so what has this got to do with poetry it uh, just you know running down the list of fave poems of mine and it made me think of uh, the first great horror entertainer uh, in the English language tradition that I know of, John Webster, uh, who was famously depicted uh, in uh, Shakespeare in Love as the rotten little kid who, who wanted to see more gore in, in uh, Romeo and Juliet. Um, this is from his horror, his, his um, horror comedy masterpiece, the Duchess of Malfi. Hark! Now everything is still, the screech owl and the whistler shrill call upon our dame aloud and bid her quickly don her shroud. Much you had of land and rent, your length in clay is now competent. A long war disturbed your mind, here your perfect peace is signed. Of what ist fools make such vain keeping? Sin their conception, their birth weeping, their life a general mist of error, their death a hideous storm of terror. Strew your hair with powder sweet, don clean linen, bathe your feet, and the foul fiend more to check, a crucifix let bless your neck. Is now full tide between night and day. End your groan and come away.